New games could be coming to the North Carolina Education Lottery. A joint legislative oversight committee met with lottery leaders this morning to discuss what other states are doing to raise lottery money. WNCT's Brandon Goldner found one type of game discussed today is angering sweepstakes cafe owners. Brandon, why are they upset? Well, one game discussed was video lottery terminals, similar in look to sweepstakes games, but much more tightly regulated. Now, I've been investigating the legality of sweepstakes for several months. Many counties shut them down in the past year. One owner claims the reason she was shut down is that the lottery wants a gaming monopoly. This is Misty. Janice Thompson says all the profits she made as the owner of Clover City Internet Cafe went to her animal rescue, Tender Mercy's pet organization. Her internet cafe was shut down last year when Lenore County's district attorney began enforcing a state ban on sweepstakes games. It makes me mad. Vet bills are expensive. And now we're having to tell people no because we just don't have the money. She directs a lot of her anger at the North Carolina Education Lottery. Thompson claims the state shut down cafes because it wants to control video gaming in North Carolina. They are squashing small businesses, costing hundreds and hundreds of employees in every county to lose their jobs because they don't want a percentage of the profit. They want the whole thing. Lottery leaders reject Thompson's claims. In a Thursday morning meeting, lawmakers and lottery leaders discussed how other states were raising money from their lotteries. One type of game brought up, video lottery terminals, which just like sweepstakes games, are a form of electronic gaming. But Lottery Communications Director Van Denton says the organization was only fulfilling lawmakers' request for information about video gaming. He says the NC Education Lottery does not have the authority under the State Lottery Act to provide video lottery lottery games to North Carolinians. No efforts are underway by lottery officials to change that. Hey, guys. Thompson maintains the lottery does plan to introduce video lottery terminals and have a gaming monopoly in the state. As long as there's a breath in my body, I'm going to get the word out. I love you. The lottery also emphasizes the types of games discussed at today's meeting are only possibilities, not firm proposals. Brandon Goldner, nine on your side. Thank you.